to dismantle the N64, first take out the expansion pack. Use a screwdriver at the back to lift it off. Turn the system over. You're presented with six screws, which you can remove quite easily with the game bit screwdriver designed for the purpose. Once you've taken those out, <coughs> turn it back over, remove and keep this part. It might be something that you need to utilise later, like the grills, etc. This is the main part of the system. All you have to do is unscrew every screw present. There's quite a lot of shielding on the system. However, if you wanted to make a nice cool portable, cool in terms of heat, it's a better idea to use heat sinks and a small fan. Just keep going on this until you run out of screws to remove. These ones here are actually over the processors. Good idea to keep the screws, you never know when they come in useful. For example, closing up a case or something of that sort of nature. Going over to the expansion pack area. This little plate carries the connection to the main metal plate for keeping the expansion pack cool. In reality it seems to run absolutely fine without that. I suppose it was just making sure that everything would be okay but it would overkill really. See the process is really quite quick, straightforward. A lot of screws to remove there. So start to remove the plates. I'm sure there's none in here that we've left a mistake. to utilise for the cut relocation later on because they can hold it in place and give you somewhere nice to screw it to so keep those for sure. Okay back onto this. Lift off all the metal back in place. Anything else? Doesn't matter, they're going to get soon. Right, anyway, there's the board. <laughs> 